Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you're dealing with a particularly challenging health issue, we can help you out. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, questions about ingredients or formulations, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the program, including my all-time favorite nutritional supplement formulation, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin and Mineral and Trace Nutrient Powder, that you add to water and drink. I'm sipping on it as we speak. It's like rocket fuel in the morning. It's great with meals, great to sip on throughout the day. You can check out all the Longevity products, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, on my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, if you're interested in checking out some high-end connoisseur gourmet skincare. No preservatives, no fragrances, no fillers, no wax, no water, no emulsifiers, no surfactants, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, just active and functional ingredients. Check out all the Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a special look at our retinol 5% gel made with retinol as well as vitamin C. And of course, none of the bad stuff, no preservative, fragrance, silicon, wax, oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. Okay, thanks for joining us once again on The Bright Side. We're talking about the PPD hormones. I call them the PPD hormones. Specifically, we've been talking about the D. The D is DHEA, P for pregnenolone, P for progesterone, D for DHEA. DHEA is the most abundant hormone in the body, at least when we're young. Like pregnenolone, it's parent compound. DHEA is the quintessential hormone of youth, along with pregnenolone. Until around age 28 or so, our DHEA levels are skyrocketingly high. And then somewhere around age 28 to 30, we stop making as much DHEA. And by the time we're 35, DHEA levels have dropped pretty significantly. DHEA levels can be considered to be a major, probably the major hormonal marker of youth and vitality. Now, not all hormones drop with age. In fact, stress hormones, cortisol particularly, as well as something called aldosterone, which we've talked about in the past, that's, a, that's one of the a stress hormone that controls blood pressure, blood pressure being very responsive to stress in our lives. In fact, that's the major reason why we have hypertension is because of physiologic as well as psychologic and emotional stresses. Aldosterone is a stress hormone, cortisol is a stress hormone, and, and levels of both these hormones increase. Levels of pregnenolone and levels of DHEA, on the other hand, in fact, levels of all the calming hormones, the PPD hormones, 
especially DHEA, are significantly reduced in the aging body. And it's very possible, in fact, in my opinion, it's very likely that the breakdown and the accelerated aging of cells and tissues and structures is a direct result of the decline in DHEA, as well as, as, well as to a certain extent, pregnenolone, See, seeing as how DHEA is derived from pregnenolone. Many scientists, physicians, medical professionals, alternative professionals, alternative healthcare professionals believe that by restoring the levels of these hormones, restoring the levels of the PPD hormones via supplementation as well as topical creams, preg uh, DHEA in particular lends itself very well to, to uh, absorption via topical creams. I've been making DHEA creams in my compounding pharmacy. When I had my compounding pharmacy, I was making lots of DHEA creams. I'll tell you about the story, how I got involved, how I first started to understand about the importance of DHA here in a minute. Anyway, many uh, healthcare professionals believe that you, by restoring DHA levels, pregnenolone levels, and progesterone levels, you can slow down some of the more troublesome manifestations of the generic aging process, the breakdown of bone and muscles, the frailty, the skin aging. DHA has particular relevance for helping build skin, and makes, uh, keeping the skin strong impaired heart health, impaired blood sugar control, weight gain. All of these are associated with, with uh, in addition to cortisol and aldosterone, stress hormones, all of these are also associated with a decrease in DHEA and a decrease in pregnenolone and a decrease in progesterone. They all drop. All the PPD hormones, hormone, uh, hormones drop as we get older, but none are more significant. None of the drops are more significant than the decline in DHEA. DHEA levels are particularly high during puberty and adolescence. They peak, as I say, in our late 20s. I call that hitting the wall. And almost everybody, no, not almost, everybody who is over the age of 35 years old will tell you that between the ages of 28 and 35, we hit the wall. Before 28, the body is unbelievably resilient. You can smoke and you can drink and then go out and party and then go to work the next day and do the whole thing again that night drink and smoke and party, go to work the next day or play football the next day or play softball the next day. And then somewhere around age 28, you can't do that anymore. Somewhere around age 28, you start to feel little aches and pains. Somewhere around age 28, aging becomes a reality. Mortality even becomes a reality, at least our awareness of it. Somewhere around age 28 to, 28 to 30, we hit the wall. And I did it, and everybody I know has done it, and everybody I've worked with will tell you that they, you hit the wall somewhere around age 28 to 30. And not coincidentally, this is when our PPD hormones, particularly DHEA levels, start to drop. DHEA is just remarkable, remarkable stuff. It's not a mighty 90 essential nutrient. It's much more powerful than pregnenolone and probably progester progesterone as well. It's on par with progesterone but it's certainly more powerful than pregnenolone. I first started hearing about DHEA back in the 1990s when I started my compounding pharmacy. Somewhere around 1993, 92, the word started to get out on, on uh, this important building substance. I was involved with bodybuilders and athletes. I was making products for them. I was a bodybuilder and an athlete. Uh, so I was kind of immersed in the culture of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. It's, if you just got into understanding how uh, nutrition and nutritional supplements can work into your, can become a functional part of your life, can become an important part of your life, it may come as a surprise to you that back in the 90s, nobody really knew about nutritional supplements except for bodybuilders and weightlifters, not even regular athletes. It was mostly the bodybuilders and the weightlifters who were always looking for some kind of edge for building muscle. That's where I first learned about arginine. That's where I first learned about insulin. That's where I first learned about growth hormone was by hanging out in gyms. Well, one of the, one of the really, really, really important nutritional supplements or dietary supplements, I should say, that became popular somewhere around 92 or 93 was DHEA. It's kind of weird stuff. DHEA, what is it? Well, all the gym rats were talking about it. And you couldn't get DHEA over the counter back then. You have to get a prescription for DHEA. This was uh, 92, 93. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls in our next segment. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. 
Check out our Truth Retinol Gel, 5% retinol, as well as Truth Serum, Truth Bomb, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. All super healing. Healing and anti-aging go hand in hand. Healing is anti-aging, and anti-aging is healing. You want, if you're looking for uh, an anti-aging product, if you want to help to drive the production of collagen, new skin cells, and have be more beautiful, more healthy looking, more healthy and more healthy looking, more attractive skin, what you're looking for is to drive the production of tissue, make tissue grow. This is what I've been focusing on for 32 years is how to make tissue grow topically since I started working with Blistex and I, and I developed various techniques and uh, I developed various formulations that do just that. And what I found was when you heal the skin, you anti-age the skin. It's the same stuff. It's the same mechanism. You're looking for to accomplish the same thing. Healing is anti-aging. And so what I did was when I was formulating products for folks who were dealing with burns or broken skin or, or post-surgical skin, which is what I was doing in my compounding pharmacy, I started applying the same strategies to anti-aging products. And that's how I developed my first skincare company, which I sold. And, and what I've done with the truth is I've elaborated, extrapolated, increased, improved healing and anti-aging with various strategies, including only using 100% active and functional ingredients. No fillers, no waxes. You don't need all that stuff. You're paying for somebody else's profit margin. You're paying so somebody else can set this, uh, pay their employees so they can sell you a product. You're paying so they can sell you the product when you pay for water. Most skincare products are 80 to 90, sometimes 95% water. Not to mention wax and filler and surfactant and silicon and oil and stuff you don't need. Preservatives and fragrances. Truth Skin Health products are 100% active and functional ingredients. They will heal your skin if you have a burn, and they will anti-age your skin if you want to fight wrinkles. All my Truth Skin Health products, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Retinol Gel, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. And anybody who's had a burn and put the Omega-6 Healing Cream on it will tell you. The stuff heals your skin, and it also anti-ages your skin. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're talking DHEA. I remember back in the 1990s when I first started my compounding pharmacy, DHEA was just starting to get out. The word on it was just starting to get out somewhere around the 1992, 1993. We've known about DHEA since the 1930s. Yeah, but it wasn't until the 1970s that researchers began to understand how important this stuff really was. It was first synthesized in the 1930s. In the 1930s, they were going crazy trying to synthesize all these various hormones, particularly steroid hormones. DHEA was one of them. Progesterone was another one. Estrogen was another one. But DHEA didn't really get a lot of press. DHEA wasn't really as, as well recognized because it's not as powerful as kick butt as estrogen or testosterone. And it wasn't until the 70s that scientists began to understand how important this stuff was. And but it was really by the, the late 1980s and 1990s that human research studies started to get going. And they were, they were finding out that the stuff was pretty darn amazing. It was all the rage in the research world in the early 90s, late, late 80s, early 90s. By the mid-90s, I started hearing about it. And there was really a lot of amazing literature talking about how it increased lifespan, how it prevented certain cancers, it protected the heart, protected the circulatory system, and most importantly, it was, a weight, it was being marketed for weight loss and for muscle building. Weight loss and muscle building were the two main reasons why DHEA really caught fire, why it got so much attention. It was, it was becoming a favorite for athletes and bodybuilders and weightlifters. They're always looking for an edge, as I said. And they were already familiar with anabolic steroids. This is when anabolic steroids were really, really getting going. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger made a movie in, somewhere in the late 1960s, early 1970s and it called Pumping Iron. Some of you may have seen it. And he extolled the virtues or at least implied the virtues of using anabolic steroids. And uh, so weightlifters and bodybuilders had really been into anabolic steroids for almost a decade at this point. And when, when they caught wind of this stuff, DHEA, they went crazy. They were really the first people to get go to to make this stuff popular. Anyway, by around somewhere in 93, 94, athletes were some, starting to come into my pharmacy asking for this stuff. So I started researching it, and then I started carrying it, and then I started making them, uh, taking it myself, and then I started making creams with it. I was making this DHEA cream, which I have to say was, at the time, the most impressive non-nutritional product there that I had ever seen as far as, as far as helping people lose weight and gain, and, and gain muscle. 
I considered it much more than that, though. It was, yeah, it was a great muscle building supplement. It is a great muscle building supplement and a great weight loss supplement. But I was considering it, and it was beginning to be recognized in the literature as a, just a youth pill, an overall youth pill and youth topical. It was really the first readily available substance. DHEA was the first readily available substance to have scientific literature and people's real experiential results to back up uh, the scientific literature. It was really the first substance that could make a huge difference when it came to anti-aging and muscle building. That was really, really revolutionary. And it made a lot of people at the time, the early 90s, uh, mid-90s, it made a lot of people believers in the concept of dietary supplementation. Before then, you were kind of a wacko if you supplemented. Before the 1990s, you were like a health nut. Yeah, people were supplementing, that's for sure. But it was still on the fringes. Right around the mid-90s, and, and the, uh, the popularity of DHEA played a major, major role in this, somewhere around the 1990s, supplementation became mainstream. It wasn't 100% mainstream. It took a few more years for it to be really mainstream to the late 90s, early 2000s. But it really got going when DHEA, when people recognized how effective DHEA could be. Now, at the time, not, uh, 93 or so, DHEA was only available by prescription. It was still cheap. It was ridiculously cheap. But you had to go to a doctor to get it. And right around 93, 94, some of you guys may remember this, the FDA was starting to flex its muscles and make noises about regulating all nutritional supplements. There was, uh, there was a, a movement afoot in the legislature, in the Congress, to give the FDA the power to regulate all nutritional supplements. The FDA was looking for that power to regulate all nutritional supplements. And, and remember, this is about the time that people are starting to get the idea that you can take some supplements, you can take di dietary supplements and get better. And when the FDA announced this, that they were, gonna, uh, that they were now going to be regulating all nutritional supplements, man, I had never seen the public get together like they got together uh, to try to keep this thing from happening. There, was, there were petitions signed, and there was uh, uh, leaflets and handouts being uh, distributed. And Anyway, the public outcry was so loud and so clear that the FDA finally relented, and this is when Congress passed something called the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, also known as DSHEA, not to be confused with DHEA. DSHEA, the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, it was, I think, 1994, and it allowed nutritional supplements to be sold over the counter without FDA regulation. What it did is it defined, DSHEA defined dietary supplements as uh, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and, and uh, dietary constituents constituents, as they said, and herbs and their concentrates, and it defined them as foods. It said that as long as they did not, as long as supplements did not alter the structure or the function of the human body or make claims that they could treat diseases, that nutritional supplementation was food. And this was a radical, radical departure from the previous reg regulations that prevented you from getting DHA as well as things like melatonin and, and GABA over the counter. And this is really when the lid came off the nutritional supplement pot and everybody started to understand how important these things can be. It's when longevity got started to get going. A lot of multi-level companies started to get going. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time on the bright side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. You can also check out our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. We've got five years of archive material, lots of good health information. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you can do that off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. You ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team if you want to start a little business, side business, or if you want to start a serious business. Make some money, make a little money, make a lot of money selling longevity products and helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you've benefited from the longevity products, now you want to share it with people. 
Please call the phone team at 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can have a longevity business, and even if you don't want to sell the product or share the product with anyone, if you want to just uh, just use it for yourself, you can get all your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee. Okay, tomorrow we'll continue talking about DHEA, talk about all its wonderful, wonderful, important roles in the body. Uh, one of my all-time favorite supplements. You do have to be a little bit careful with DHEA. It's not like pregnenolone. Pregnenolone, you can take 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams, 300 milligrams. Uh, with DHEA, you really want to be a little re- bit more respectful of the dosages because it is much more potent than pregnenolone. And we'll talk about some of that tomorrow. We'll also talk about some uh, some derivatives of DHEA that can uh, get you some of the benefits, some of the weight loss benefits, particularly without having to deal with some of the, uh, the um, uh, side effects, if you will, or excessive effects, particularly when it comes to Uh, uh, body hair, losing body hair for men or gaining body hair for women. That's one of the knocks on DHEA. Um, But the new uh, derivatives of DHEA bypass some of that. We'll talk about that tomorrow as well. Okay. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's hit the phones and go to Todd in Portland. What's up, Todd? Good morning. Hello, Ben. Hey, Todd. What's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Hey, I went from a job where I sat down all day to a job where I stand up all day and okay. I'm starting to get a little pain in one of my knees. It's slow, low, dull pain and I can't uh, You sound like why. a kid, Todd. How old are you, buddy? <laughs> ben, I'm uh, 53 years old. Okay, you're not a kid. Officially, yeah. you're not a kid. Um, you can still be immature, though, if you like, but you're, chronologically, you're not a kid. Uh, how, are you carrying some extra weight? Uh, no, I'm 5'9 and 150 pounds. Good. Are you working out? I do. I work out uh, a couple times a week, short, intense workouts, and that's about it. Are you sprinting? Um, or anything, no. anything for the legs? Are you doing anything intense on the legs? Squats and lunges is about all I do. Are you doing the squats rapidly? Are you doing fast, like, like, like intense squats and quickly, that kind of thing? Not necessarily quickly. Um, sometimes deep, but not quick. Okay, so that's you might want to look at that. Are you doing any supplementation after your squats, after you work out? Um, my usual BTT and... Um, Here's what I would do. Here's what I would do if I were you. It, it's, not, it's understandable at the age of 53 if you're squatting, uh, especially if you're going deep with your squats, that you'd have some, some problems. Uh, you might have some problems with the joints. So what I'd be doing is right after your workout, do your supplements. Always do your supplements after you work out. That's just a general rule of thumb. Always supplementation after you work out. But make sure you're doing uh, something called alpha lipoic acid, if you're not already, 400 milligrams a day after you work out, and then vitamin E after you work out. Uh, the tocotrienols, you probably know this, are the deluxe form. Uh, if you don't want to do that, get a mixed tocopherol. You can do this right after you work out. And then... Uh, also, you want to do some digestive enzymes on an empty stomach, and if you do them after you work out, if you're not eating, that might help too. I would throw in the glucosamine, and I'd be doing bone soup. And with your glucosamine, by the way, it's a good idea to make sure you're sipping on your BTT because the vitamin C and the glucosamine work together. And you might actually want to take a little bit extra vitamin C, maybe another 1,000 milligrams or so a day of vitamin C. Last but not least, I'd be using essential fatty acids. Omega-3s in particular in particular, are anti-inflammatory, although they're both important. And, of course, if you have any digestive health issues, which it doesn't sound like you do. You sound like a healthy guy there. Uh, but if you do have any digestive health issues, Issues, you want to uh, you want to correct those uh, because anything that gets into the blood through the digestive tract is going to uh, food food particle wise is going to make it, it's going to make it difficult to reduce inflammation in the joints. How's that? Anything else? Does that make sense? Thank you very much. Good deal, Todd. Good to talk to you. Have a beautiful day. Good luck with everything. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Leo, is this my buddy Leo who I haven't talked to for a couple years? Hey, you what's up? How's it going, Ben? That's me. What's, well, are you still doing the radio show, Leo? I actually still am. I actually what, give it a plug. Give the show a plug. Well, it's worldgonecrazyradio.com. Uh, I just had actually Dr. Wakefield came on oh, wow. uh, the other day, and we're trying to get the movie Vax um, here at our local uh, theater, the one that was banned at the Tribeca Film Festival. It's not, it wasn't, they, they relented, didn't they? They let it, people seen it, oh. I think. No? Really? Did they? I, 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 I think they might have. 
that's great. I didn't know that. I I had him um, on here, and we didn't we didn't talk about that. We just don't we quote me on that. that. I'm not 100 percent positive. I just think that. But I, I think I'm, that I think that Robert De Niro came out later in an interview, and he said it's a film that everybody should see. And have you seen it? Understand. No, that's I. I will I will travel to see it. But like I said, that we have. Uh, I'm trying to get people motivated to contact the local movie theaters. There's about three or four of them in our area, uh, and I was. I'm trying to. I'm hoping that at least one of them uh, will have the gumption to go ahead and, and say, "Hey, people have a right to uh, make up their own minds, and we're going to go ahead and show the, the movie." So, um, well, if any uh, but, if any city has the gumption, as you say, to show that movie, it would be Portland. Yep, and Portland is actually doing it. Portland, uh, this last weekend, as a matter of fact, it's still playing. It's still playing in Port Portland. Okay. Yeah, that's Cinema 21. If there's any listeners uh, that are, are within earshot of the of the radio right now, it's Cinema 21 in Portland. You can find it there. You can go to vaxxed.com, V-A-X-X-E-D.com, and uh, you can find out if it's playing in your, in your town as well. And I didn't Thank know you. that I would be I would be playing that movie this morning. But well, we appreciate it. That's that's good. I don't talk too much about vaccines because I like this to be more positive and about the bright side. But really, it's not a good idea to be sticking stuff in your blood unless you absolutely 100% know for sure what you're sticking into your blood. And that is not the case with vaccines. So what's going on, Leo? I got a full board here. I want to get to some calls. How can I help you, my man? I've got a good acquaintance of mine. He is a he's a. He is uh, active. He's in the in the guard, and I saw him, you know, back in 2012, 2013. He was in robust shape, and then I just saw him recently, a few months ago, and he looked like crap. So I said, "Hey, what's going on?" I mean, he had like a boil on his face. He was overweight, and he said he was diagnosed with psoriasis, and they had him on uh, doxycycline. Okay. And then later he was that he was di- diagnosed with lupus as well. Okay. And now they they took him off the doxy, and they've got him on. Um, Oh, Tesla, I think. They're going to kill them, poor man. That's awful. I know. Okay, uh, here's the deal. Psoriasis and lupus are the same deal. They're autoimmune diseases. The body's reacting. It's jumpy. Remember, there's not a lot of things that go wrong in the body. It always is going to involve some aspect of inflammation and defense, and autoimmunity is nothing more than a combination of just that, inflammation and a defensive response. Hang on, Leo, because they're so easy to deal with, and it's tragically easy to deal with because doctors don't help. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Leo, I don't mean to be rude here, but I'm going to go real fast. Okay, bro? Uh, go I'm for get to a bunch of calls. Lupus and psoriasis, same idea, autoimmune diseases. The, uh, the Otesla, by the way, it, it is not one of the worst drugs that he could be on. As far as uh, drugs go, it's not as bad as some. It's still a drug, though, and it doesn't take care of the problem, which is why he got the psoriasis, and then he had the lupus. Nobody thought to take care of the problem, which most importantly involves leakage into the blood through the digestive tract of food particles. So if the main strategies for all autoimmune diseases, surprise, surprise, are going to be food and digestive tract based probiotics good bacteria that's the first thing i would definitely be doing fermented foods and good good bacteria the nightly essence from longevity as well as fermented foods vegetable juices and fermented vegetables uh, cartilage containing products mucilaginous substances that is gummy slimy things like fucoidin the fucoid z algae aloe noni anything that has a slimy quality will coat the digestive tract um, let's see what else. Uh, food diary and elimination diet, eliminating problem foods, fasting. If he just fasted for a couple of days, he would start to feel better, by the way. Linking his flare-ups to, to foods and linking digestive problems to foods. Those are the main strategies. Now, it's also going to be important that he focuses on fats. Fats, 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 fats. For one thing, they're hard for the body to process. For two, they're the anti-inflammatory and, and um, uh, yeah, protective substances, the things that protect the body from inflammation and that block inflammation. So vitamins D, A, K, E, and essential fatty acids are important. Make sure he takes them with meals, and it wouldn't hurt him to use the ultimate enzymes and some lecithin when he's using these fatty substances. Leo, I've got to motivate, man, but lupus is so easy to deal with, and it's so tragic. Uh, can, uh, hey, have a good day, man. Thanks for, it's good to talk man. to you. Thanks, thanks for the Absolutely. tips on Vax. Appreciate it. Okay, let's move on to Steve in Florida. Welcome to the Bright Side, Steve. How you doing? Doing good. What's up? 
Good morning. Uh, good morning. My city. Good talking to you. Good uh, talking to you. Quick, uh, I had two quick questions for you, Ben, and I'll let you uh, answer it. Um, I had my uh, my cholesterol checked, and they checked my uh, HDL, and it was a uh, real low. I've never been that low before, but I'm taking quite quite a some good supplements. And I was just wondering if the medications would bring that down. If so, how can I bring it back up? Well, hang on. What medications? What do you mean medications bring it down? You mean the supplements? Uh, medications. What, what, med- what are you on? Uh, I'm on the uh, digoxin and the top roll. Oh, okay. I didn't catch that. Okay. So digoxin, the, the, you, had a heart, you have heart disease or cardiovascular issue or what, what happened? Uh, the uh, a leaking valve. They put me on. Okay. That. Got it. So you didn't have a heart attack or anything like that. It's just for the valve? Yeah. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Digoxin is a major toxin. Major, major, major toxin. I'm even. I'm shocked, actually. And then, you know, um, actually, I, I was wondering why I've been having problems with my muscles, and I don't know. Dude, if that's the problem dude, or not. Google it. It is a major toxin. It's one of the most toxic of all the drugs. That's you, you're taking tiny doses of it, but even then. Uh, and then also, uh, it's real old time, real old school. And that, are you not a vet? Are you? Are you going to the VA by any chance? No. Okay, uh, and then uh, the beta blocker, the other one, metoprolol. You said that's yeah. a that's a, a beta blocker. And let me be clear here, folks. Beta blockers do just that. They block the beta, which is the nerve that runs the heart. They block the heart, basically one of the nerves anyway. And it's a very bad strategy. Uh, here's what you need to do. Forget forget the cholesterol measurements. Here's what you want to be doing. You want to be focusing on cardiovascular health, big time. I would be doing all the B vitamins throughout the day, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day. Don't worry about the cholesterol. Focus on heart health. Uh, and, of course, uh, underneath heart health is going to be the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the, and the, uh, 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 the adrenal glands. You're going to calm the body down. So you've got to make sure that you're doing all that, digestive support, blood sugar support, and making sure you're calming the body down, Bre- deep breathing. Um, very important for the heart and for the re- respiratory tract, for everything, really. Then also supplements for the heart that will, they're good for everything, but they'll also help the heart. Electrolytes and the B vitamins, very, very, very important. Especially if you're not supplementing, you're very likely deficient in these things. And that could be part of the problem in the first place. So use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and vegetable juices, generous amounts of veggie juices, and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, I would be taking extra vitamin C if I were you, maybe 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C. I'd be on coenzyme Q10 if you're not already, 100 to 200 milligrams a day. I'd be using magnesium every day, something called carnitine or acetyl L-carnitine. I'd be using that every day if I were you. Um, so many different things. Uh, the ultimate niacin might help you. Uh, and then, of course, the healthy start pack with the ultimate EFAs and the osteo effects are also very important. I didn't talk to you about the blood sugar system. I didn't talk to you about the digestive system, but they're both very, very important. But I'd be, as far as directly for the heart goes, everything I just told you about. Uh, and you can run the tape back. You can go back to the archives if you want to, if you want to review okay. it. I hope that helps, Steve. Thank you so much, man. Good luck with everything. Right, God thanks. bless you. All right, uh, Rigo in California. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side, Rigo. Oh, hi. I have, hey. uh, two or three qu- I have two or three questions, depending if you have time. Well, yes. The first one is my concern. I, I've been taking the Dr. Wallach's 90 Essentials. Yes. But, uh, uh, unless I'm wrong, but I don't see enough iodine nowadays we're exposed to. You, yeah, you want you probably want to take some extra. Bromine. You want some extra iodine. I, I agree with that. I would get some iodorol. 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 I- 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 O-R-A-L, I believe it's spelled. Iodorol. Oh, okay. Because uh, I've seen Alex Jones, and he also has one. Iodine. You might want to use his. He, uh, that's Dr. Group's uh, nascent iodine. You might want to try that, too. That I've okay, heard good great. things about that. All right, great. And, and the other question is, uh, I've been dealing with a couple of warts for the past three years, and I would like to know your feedback. And see warts, did you say? Are these warts? warts on, on your yeah. fingers? I'm a, I, I got three of them. I, I've been having them for the past three years, and they go. They re- Are they on your fingers? 
on my fingers, yeah. Yeah, uh, you, that's a sign that your immune system is off, that your body's not fighting those kinds of viruses, which we all, which are present everywhere. They're ubiquitous, but some of us are more susceptible, and that usually means the immune system is off. So, again, digestive issues are always the first thing you, you deal with, and look for them, and then eliminate problem foods. Uh, and you want to be stabilizing the blood sugar, but directly for the immune system, selenium is very important. I'd be using the ultimate selenium, 400 or so micrograms a day, maybe 600 micrograms a day. Vitamin C in high doses, vitamin E, 400 international units a day. Uh, if you're already on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, stay on it, but get on the ultimate selenium and work on the digestive system, especially probiotics, good bacteria. Get on the nightly essence and also fermented foods. I hope that helps, Rigo. Anything okay. else you want to ask? Yeah, yeah, one quick question. Okay, so uh, I, I hear you talk about acne. Yeah. Uh, I've been also dealing with acne for more than 10 years. It's all part and of the same picture, my friend. Your immune system, something's compromising your immune system, and, and you're, you're hypersensitive to inflammatory factors, which means that the, the, the system is becoming overloaded, particularly in the blood. The blood system, specifically the blood system, is becoming overloaded with toxicity. Now, there could be some other compounding variables I'd have to ask you about your body type and have some uh, other things to, you know, I don't have a, uh, time to get into it right now, uh, but the couple things you want to do that might help you right off the bat and also help you with your immune problems with the, with the warts, zinc. 50 milligrams a day. Make sure you take it with food. Look for zinc picolinate, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E, zinc picolinate. And then in addition to the selenium, those two are very important for the immune system and the skin. And then uh, vitamin A is also important for the skin and the immune system, 20,000 international units a day. Vitamin A and zinc work hand in hand. Deficiencies in one will cause deficiencies in the other. And people who can't absorb one typically will not absorb the other. So those two go hand in hand, and they're especially important for the immune system and for the skin. I actually have an acne supplement that should be out here in the next month or so. I'll be telling you about it. It's going to have vitamin A in it and zinc and, and acetylcysteine, a whole bunch of other good stuff. Uh, a good skin nutrients. And we'll be talking about that more in the coming days. Rigo, I got to motivate. Hope I helped you out. I want to get uh, Carl the Truth Raider in f- uh, for the last word. What's going on, Carl? I got about a minute, buddy. Hey, I, I wonder if the Truth Raider has anything to do with all these uh, calls from Portland <laughs> and Oregon. Area. Maybe. Are you spreading the word out there? Yeah, I must have uh, <laughs> you let, were... the, uh, let the secret out, I guess. I wanted you to talk about traffic school. I wanted you to say something about, or, or what did you yeah. call it? Yeah, Not... the Truth Raider is going to be going down to solidify oh, you... my knowledge. Oh, you haven't gone yet? No, not yet. Okay. On what, okay. what the government doesn't want you to know about your driver's license. I'm going to be at 1904 Waterloo Street there in Austin, Texas. And that's with Eddie. Eddie, the lawyer. What's Eddie? Eddie's the attorney guy? What's no, his name? he's uh, an advocate, more or less. He's the expert. Oh, he's an advocate. Okay. Hey, that's the music, Carl. Call back. I'd love to hear. Uh, call back when you come back from your uh, from your traffic school or whatever you were calling yeah, up there. Thanks. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thank you for your call. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with acne, our retinol 5% gel is just the ticket for dealing with acne-prone or blemish-prone skin, truthtreatments.com. All right. Tomorrow we'll continue talking DHEA. Have yourselves an awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.